I was I'm, I was following the conversation about the moral realism, and I'm not sure where I fall on that, but I think that you 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 said you were a moral realist, right? Because um, I think you were just saying it's kind of obvious that killing babies is wrong, and yeah, well, it's just true. Right? It's just true, right? It's, it's wrong to to torture babies for your or kill babies for your own pleasure. How and and I know this sounds like a stupid question, but how? Because, but I'll just ask it. Um, how do you arrive at saying that that's true? That killing babies is wrong. So, um, how do I arrive at it? I mean, how I do it now is I just you you ask me the you know you you put this proposition to me. Is it wrong to torture or kill babies for fun? And I think, yeah, that's wrong. Um, and that's just the judgment I make. If your question is about where did that judgment come from in the first place, I have no idea, right? I don't know enough about the kind of ideology of my beliefs to be able to answer that question, but I don't think that matters. Right. And sorry, James, I skipped in front of you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize for that. My question was on the similar line because... Um, you wouldn't necessarily accept me a theist asserting that God exists as a brute fact of reality. But when you assert that morality is a brute fact of reality and morality can change and is very much a subjective, I don't know what objective standards you're appealing to, but I don't know that why you would assert that. But just in a conversation with a theist, if I just said God exists and it's a fact, you may have some challenges, right? So part of the, the method is, uh, when, we, when you're comparing worldviews, right, um, you look to see how many brute facts you've got because every brute fact is a cost, right? So everybody's got some and you have to count them all up, right? So, I mean, I agree absolutely. Every time I say this is a kind of primitive necessity, that's a theoretical expense that has to be weighed. Um, but I think that in the end, um, naturalists are going to have fewer of those than theists do. Um, but again, that's open for argument. Is, uh, so, so, so I agree with what you said. Uh, but you don't, you don't, um, you don't um, suffer a mortal blow when you admit that something is brute, a brute necessity. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, it's just one of the costs. Would you agree that it's not objective, though? It's it's subjective to the time period or who's looking uh, at the question? So maybe it depends what you mean by subjective and objective, right? The, so, uh, I mean, if, if you mean is this something that we can reasonably disagree about, then almost nothing is in philosophy is objective in that sense because you just have to look at the practice of philosophers. Everybody knows you put two philosophers in a room and you get them talking and they just find endless points of disagreement. Mm -hmm. But if but it pick something like two and three or five, right? Uh, if we're going to have a candidate for something that's objective, that looks like it's a pretty good candidate. I'm not sure that torturing babies for your own pleasure is wrong, is a worse candidate than that. Well, I, w I would agree with you, but then I'm I'm a theist, so I ground mine in objective morality, and that objective morality, I believe, comes from God. But from the naturalist, uh, we see morality has developed and changed over time. Like, children are treated very differently now than they were 100 years ago, and very differently now than before then. Even moral issues like slavery, for example, were considered morally acceptable 2,000 years ago but are not considered acceptable now. So when you say that it's a brute fact, I just, I'm just i just challenging a little bit. How can we say that from a naturalist perspective? So the thing that will be the brute fact is some high-level principles, and it may be tricky what follows from the high-level principles, and it may also be the case that what we think follows from those principles, um, you know, that we make mistakes about what we think follows from the principles because of our interests and things like that. I mean, the... The thing about slavery is it wasn't just acceptable 2,000 years ago. It was acceptable only a couple of hundred years ago. 
by people who are not that different from us. I know, of course, not everybody accepted it, and that's true all the way through history. Not everybody accepted it, but uh, but there are lots and lots of people prepared to write defences of slavery even into the nineteenth middle of the nineteenth century. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's I mean on the on the, on the the other the earlier things that you said, and we did talk about this a little bit before. Um, and you, you want to say that you can ground the morality in God. I'm very sceptical that that can be done in a satisfactory way. What I think will happen is that you'll end up with a brute commitment to the moral claims too. Um, that's, yes, I would um, agree. I, I would have a, I would be under the same uh, level of burden as you is if I say that it's objectively wrong to hurt a child and you say it's objectively wrong, we would both have the burden of proof to demonstrate what that objective standard is. The only thing that I would see is that I would point to God, but you're pointing to a brute fact. And I'm just, I'm trying to see if there's maybe something else. And then I'll definitely let others ask the questions. And I appreciate you taking the time to answer these as well. So, so the, I mean, one of the questions will be, okay, so why does God disapprove of torturing babies for fun and if the answer is because it's wrong well then you've got the same brute fact it's just that there was a kind of intermediate step mm. on the other hand if it's if that's not it if you say well god just decided could god have decided that it wasn't wrong and if not why not so i think there's going to be some mm -hmm. you know i mean the, the, the discussion is going to go a bit further and my feeling is that actually we'll both have a primitive commitment here to the wrongness right when when we really push hard we'll both end up with a, a, a primitive commitment to some higher level moral principle that entails it at any rate um, but that's controversial right this is one of the things that um, theistic and, and naturalistic philosophers argue about 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 whether god can be the foundation of morality uh, and that's just one of the many ongoing disputes <laughs>